Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Casper's Eye. How the devil are you, mate? Today, it is a video where literally everybody has been asking me to watch. Like, literally everybody. And you're thinking to yourself, I didn't. Well, you know what I mean, mate. The people who have asked me have asked me. And there's loads of it, mate. Left, right, center, willy-nilly. This is Mind C T V. Okay? Make sure you go to their channel, subscribe, and do the thing. And this one is called Horrifying Investigation, The Whites. Insane paranormal video footage. People are claiming this is the best ever video. This is their best ever video, mate. Okay, it's freaky deaky. I'm look I'm really looking forward. I wasn't gonna do a video today, but I'm thinking, oh man, I really gotta go and see this. I really have to see this. So anyway, I'm gonna see it now. With you. Absolutely, mate. You and me. Absolutely. Alright? Without further ado, I diddly day. Let's do this. Shh. There's something over there, is that it? Hello? Hello? Yeah, rocking the new hairstyle, mate. Liking it. Fucking handprints. It's just something that you don't normally see on an investigation. That's the fastest I've ever felt this thing start moving. But we weren't expecting to have the great, great, great grandparents buried. Look, mate, look, I'm not being funny. I'm not being funny, but look at the state of that already. Look at the state of that. I'm freaking out, mate. It literally on the property. Look at the chicken. You could hear the timbre and the residents inside the home. Something's in that room over there. Just for our own sanity, the activity is too much. We had to get out. What? Oh, don't give me too many spoilers. Don't give me too many spoilers. Fuck, oh, here we go, mate. This is going to be good, man. Oh, fuck. Back door. Back door. Back door. Back door. This was honestly one of the, if not the scariest investigations yeah. that I think that we've done as a team. <laughs> yes, mate! I haven't even seen one house. Let's go, man. Let's go. Is that it over there? A street light. There we go. There's something over there. Is that it? We end up just in the most rural of locations. And this one is one of those ones. Pulling in here, we're on a dirt road for 20 miles with no lines painted in the road, no lights anywhere. Can I just also say, right, Mind CTV, you know what I'm gonna say, you're editing, right? You're editing, you're, you're editing, you're post-production on point. Oh, is some, there's something there? There's like no lights on it or anything. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You just tried to do this shit? I like the new rustic oh, no, feel bit. to this oh, as well. Dude, is that, is that headstones right there? It looks like electrical. That looks oh, like no, a little cemetery. It's two headstones. Pulling up to the property, seeing the tombstones in the yard. I mean, we're doing a paranormal investigation in a house where the previous owners are buried still on the property. How often do you see locations that are like that? Yeah, very oh, rarely, mate. Weird. I can barely see that my camera. You know what's weird about it? Is she didn't even fucking tell us that. No, is that she didn't. Right here. Get close to yeah, yeah, yeah. Right here. here. They got a fucking cemetery <laughs> on the property. Of their parents. Mate, that'd be freaky, I don't know man. Ever dealt with anything like that. We're hey, told let's have a picnic. Where are sure like right by their tombstones. Let's have a picnic right by their bloody tombstones, mate. How freaky deaky is that? Don't know where the picnic came from, but whatever. Well, the current owner of the White's house that the two people that died here still haunted the home, but we didn't realize that their bodies were still on the property. 
They're literally buried in the front yard. Tanner. Yeah, look at that shit. Right there. That's crazy, dude. Just bury them in your own front yard. We're here. It's romantic oh, in a nice way. Place. Mate, that look at that house, mate. It looks, it looks, it's like something out of a movie, man. Done it. It looks like something. Oh, we can't afford this house. Well, if we push the budget here and there, maybe we can get the house. You know, it's our dream house, baby. What you think? I don't know. Do you know what? Let's do it. Let's buy this house and live happily ever after. That's what you think. <laughs> Look at it! Look at you! Look at your weird ass house, mate. It's not, it's beautiful, but you know what I mean. I'm just a little caught off with that fucking. I wanna go check out those tombstones real quick. We were contacted by someone saying there's activity they're experiencing in this house. Now we know the house has been in the family for generations. And we know the farm has been in the family for generations, but we weren't expecting to have the great, great, great grandparents buried literally on the property. Oh, it's open. Look. Oh, wow. <laughs> Get the bloody weed she bought out there, mate. What are those right there? Is that the same thing? Oh, there's oh, more. No, there are. Oh, it's more. What's that say? 1881. Frank. Got a Frank. ASW. I know the W stands for white. That was the family last name. Yeah, there's a white right there. ACW. What's that say? God touched her with his finger and she slept. Oh. Huh. She died right after. Crazy. She did, huh? Yeah. Two years. Wow. So this is the first time that we've had. So happens, mate, when you're truly, madly, deeply in love with somebody. It can happen. They die and then, like, soon after, like, two doves. You know? Swans? Swans. Pigeons? I think it's swans. An investigation of a place that's having activity where the family physical is, bodies are still, physical owners yeah. are still on the property. We're investigating a property with the bodies on the property. <laughs> mate. It's crazy. They, they do say that a lot of older people die like very shortly after one another. Yeah. They yeah. can't really take the pain of living a life without someone they've been with for 60 years. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. God's finger. Yeah. Welcome. <laughs> oh, I like the shadow well, I got you've the done behind just, it. Nice. Want to do a quick sweep? Put out the devices, or do you want to? Yeah, I'll, I'll just grab the thermal. Grab the thermal. Sure. I'm just curious to see what's going on. This here. place is giving me so weird. A lot, of, a lot of shadows in there, man. I'm surprised I haven't seen these guys featured in Nuke's top five before. Or have I? Maybe I have. Maybe I have. Oh, dude. No bullshit, the door is fucking open. No way. Yeah. Just fucking open. Upon arrival, I realized that the front door was open. And when I say open, I don't mean unlocked. It was cracked open, like wide. Like yeah, wide. that's the ghost going, hey, come on. You want proof, mate? Come on in. I've left the door open. Not even like, I'm not talking about unlock it. Oh. Like, wow. Hello? The door just made it. I don't know, man. Squatters or something? Hello? Mate, how squeaky is that door? I swear to God, something just moved in the kitchen. Hello? Oh, f Come on, let's save the replay. Hello? What? Is anyone here? Hello? You heard that, right? Hello? I saw something move. Hello? Yeah, something moved in the kitchen. Hello? Help me. I think I'm dead. <laughs> I 
<laughs> They're shitting him. I'm yeah. freaking out, mate. Actually, I'm gonna look at this footage. I think I got something moving on here. Oh, please, let's see. What are these? Bathroom? I'll review the footage afterwards. I just wanna get a quick sweep of the whole place. Make sure nobody's actually here right now. That door being open is fucking weird. When I say open, I don't mean unlocked. It was wide open and that already kind of put me on edge. I went in thinking that maybe somebody was inside the house. Uh, kind of went in slowly, creeping around the front door. And as soon as I shine my light to the kitchen, I saw something move fast. I mean, really quick. I don't know what it was at the time, but I know something moved. And looking back at the footage, uh, it looked like a chair slid. What? The first second, boom, walking in the house, activity. The second we walked in the door. The door just made it look like this. I don't know, man. Squatters or something? Hello? Oh my God, it did! It bloody did, mate. Yo. What was that? I swear to God, something just moved in the kitchen. Hello? So Casey was the first person in the house. When we looked back at his footage, you could see clear as day that the chair moved in the kitchen on its own. No explanation. Yeah. Yo. Confirmed. Confirmed over. Confirmed. Confirmed God, over. just moved in the kitchen. Hello? Hello? Can we close that? That thing kind of fucking freaking me out. You got it? Yeah, there you go. Hey, hey. I don't know what the sound effects are. I, d I don't know what's the sound or what's oh, the sound effects. Something. Like somebody crying. I don't know. I can't hear it, mate, because the bloody music, man. This it's excellent, but. Is it? Is that to the outside? <laughs> what happened? Just looked like I saw something. Oh, yeah, why are all the doors open in this house? <laughs> To let the ghost walk around freely, mate. Is it okay? If we come spend the night with you here tonight? We heard that you've been trapped here. Unable to leave. That's at least what your relatives told us. Mate, what is going on in this house, man? Oh, have they? I don't know why. Huh. During this particular walkthrough, I was tasked with using the infrared camera. You guys, check this shit out. What's up? Oh. Fucking handprints. And I didn't really get anything on my sweeps until I looked at the wall to the left side of the stairs and there were handprints all over the wall. Hey, can you like call? Hang on, is, is that a thermal? What? That's thermal? Why do they look like look that? Look at that shit. How many are there? Oh, shit. Ten, Dude, 15. I don't like this. What? That's fucking weird. They're like being dragged. Yeah. Man, that's a heat source, man. That's a heat source. Yeah, there's more down there. Let me see it real quick. Tanner says, whoa, guys, look at this. So we go out there and he's got it facing at the wall by the stairs. It was kind of faint from where I was standing, but I saw what looked like 20 hands. Just drag marks down the stairs or maybe climbing up, I, I don't know. I mean, uh, could you put your hand on the wall like that? And then take it off. And then I, I, I hear source would be there, right? But 20 of them? It's three of those guys. So, obviously, two hands each. Could they have just done that and then run down the stairs and then, like, with... 
I don't know, man. It's like being dragged down, right? Or is it trying to get up? I don't know. Trying to get away? These handprints were crazy looking. They looked like they had really drug across the wall. Like either someone was clawing to get up or resisting being taken down. The rest of the house with Yeah, this? I was just sweeping. I've been sweeping every wall piece of furniture. It's just something that you don't normally see on an investigation. Are they starting to go now? I want to check the other walls now. I checked. I mean, I've been looking everywhere. Oh, why is it that right now I have to see something that piques my damn curiosity? Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Fuck! Oh, boy. Oh, whoa. I'm sorry. Ramble it, this. mate. Come on. Hello. Already. Stick is there. Caution. Yeah, because there's bloody ghosty roasties up there, mate. Oh. What? Nothing. My eyes already. This house is already trying to play tricks on me, too. Who's going first? Yeah, oh. be my guest. Do you want me to hand this up to you? Uh, let me just take a peek. Oh, oh mate. Shit. That looks Hello? sketchy as hell, man. Go on, get up there, mate. Rambo it. Let's go. Do a bloody There's Ouija board up there. Up here. No, don't. And it doesn't really look too solid. You guys want to try to run the tests on the, on the tombstones first, just to see? Yeah, I think we start the You want to try like the... Yeah. And there, there, was, was, on, there was one more room that we walked but right before we do anything. So we decided to split. Me and Colton went to the graves where the current owner's great-grandparents were buried. We decided to test it out with the spirit box. Oh, we'd be go, mate. Just go right in the middle. Yeah. Mate, that looks a like state of the art bloody box thing there, mate. When the guys went out to the tombstones, I was walking through the house with the ovulus. Mr. and Mrs. White, are you here? Memories. Is that you? Cross. Remember? Crops? You remember the crops? This was a farm. I know that. Yeah. The words that the ovulus was spitting out were just too precise. These people were farmers. This house actually was a farm and there's like newspaper articles all up around the house. Is anyone here present with us right now? So don't waste my time. Don't waste my time? What? I don't know if you guys can see that. Hey, let me see if I can get the light a little bit. And check out the goats, chickens, pigs, and horses that lived on the seven generation farm. Is there more than one of you here with us? Uh, mate, was that a bloody goat? Or a sheep? Or whatever? I just heard. Do you hear that? Oh, there we go. Like, a, like an animal. There's even a point during the test where I actually muted the spirit box because I thought I heard some sort of animal noise coming from the general direction of the house. Who slept in here? Whose room was this? L. L. L legs. L legs? What? Long legs? Can someone someone with legs? bloody long legs, mate. Is that you that moved that chair in the kitchen earlier? Maybe. 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 Yeah, I keep maybe. Three maybes. So you want to play games? Want to play some games? We're coming. I love you. Maybe we can hang out in here.
Mate, if that chair moves, motherfucker, I'm gone. I'm gone. Look under the bed. Cause Rachel. Oh no. What? See, I know for a fact that was closed a minute ago. And then I realized there was a door upstairs that was wide open when I came out of the bedroom. And I know for a fact when I went upstairs it was closed. Oh guys? man, these guys have got to put cameras everywhere, mate, in every single room. They've got like they've they've got the resources. Get some cameras in every single bloody room, mate. Twenty four seven. Let's go. Mom, what's a gateway? Dives. Dives. Dives where? I went out on the balcony. I looked. Tanner and Colt were still across the yard where the tombstones were, so I knew that it wasn't them. Did you open up this door? Did you just open this door while I was in the other room? Mate, I wouldn't be in there on my own. Well, I would be. I'd Rambo it, mate. I'd Rambo that bloody house on my own. With nobody else there. All dark. Freaky. I would do it. It is bright. You want it darker in here? I don't know if I'm comfortable doing that yet. There's been some weird things happening in here. Am I going to be safe if I turn this light off? Fresh yell. Fresh yell? yell? What? Okay. I'll turn oh, the light mate, off. He's going to turn it off. Me. Here we go, mate. Here we fucking go. It's gonna kick off now, mate. Rapid, rapido. It's no longer bright. I can't see anything in here. Is there something you want to say to me? Fuck off, mate! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh shit! Look at the chicken. Fuck. Oh my God. I don't like this place. Mate. I'm sorry, no disrespect to the dead, but you don't feel very friendly to me. Oh, God, man. Oh, just him saying that. You don't seem very friendly to me. Like, you know, in the dark. And the ghost is just looking at him going, ah, really? Like shaky, wobbly heads and stuff. That's the image I've got. Some crazy-ass woman like that. Like in the corner. Like, like naked. I don't know where that bit came from. But I, I, I'm thinking of different films and stuff, you know? Like with saggy skin and things, you know? <laughs> Things were happening left and right the whole time we were at this place. I came out, the door was wide open. Oh, and then no when way. I was going downstairs, it said it was bright on the ovulus, and then it said speak. So I cut the flashlight off, yeah. and I got a whisper in my ear. Oh, no in the dark. way. Like, it felt like someone like literally whispered right in my ear like I could almost feel the breath on my oh, ear. Oh God! We decided to go ahead and move forward <laughs> and try the Ouija board which it's always a little bit uncomfortable using that but in a location like this. He's like I don't really like this place I don't get good vibes. Let's get the Ouija board out. This where you're getting this much activity we were hoping that maybe we'd get some kind of message come through that we could like relate to the family and give them 
from their deceased relatives, but what happened next was insane. All right. Oh, mate. No <clears throat> the opening. Two. Three. Who's present with us right now in this house? The Ouija board immediately started gliding. It was almost like whatever was there with us was waiting for us. And the second we asked the question, it just started cruising. Whoa. That's the fastest I've ever felt this thing start moving. Holy shit. I'm barely touching. What is that? That's an M. I mean, look at the state of the Ouija board as well. Look at the state of it, mate. Can you have got a nice, pleasant one or something? Not a fucking demon with red, bloody eyes going on. What the F? Like, get some with angels or something, you know? Look at you! Yeah. It's moving, bro. I'm talking about I have, like, the lightest pressure on it right now, bro. I'm barely... Both not just absolutely just quivering right now. It's still moving. It stopped. That's an R. Mister? It's still moving. Oh, it is moving. This S. This MRS? Is it, is it Mrs. White we're talking to? What? Whoa, fuck. I'm getting it. That thing is fucking cruising. It's Mrs. White. You said this is, this is, this is Mrs. Mrs. White, right? And it went to M R S and it stopped there, which is Mrs. We asked, is this Miss White? Slid right up to yes. Is it okay that we're here in your house? Here we Do you go, mind mate. Us being here? If this says no, mate, get the F out, mate. ASAP. Which means at as soon as possible. It's already moving. I was gonna say absolutely. <laughs> Bro, she is on it. Is it going to the no? no. Is it say what? They've just they've taken the fucking thing off and there's something upstairs, mate. Are you it's gonna be funneling down now on your fucking heads and your eyeballs are gonna pop out of your head, man. Jesus, put your hands back on there, mate. What was that? Something really What was that, mate? What is that? Like what is that happening right now as I speak? Not what was that? What is that? Loud on the second floor sounded like rumbling, like almost like maybe something was crawling across the floor. Oh, and then mate, crawling on the ceiling, up the fucking walls and shit. Get your camera, get up there and investigate, man. Rambo it. And there was a couple loud bangs. Boom, boom. It startled me, and I realized that I took my hands off. It was this moment he knew he fucked up. Planchette. <clears throat> But what happened next is just fucking mind blowing. Fuck, mate. Okay. No, no, no. F mate, I would be calling this investigation shit. Uh, 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 that's it. I'll be calling it off. I'll be saying that's it, mate. I uh, no. All right, we've done really well with the channel. Okay, we, we like we're, we're pretty much sorted now for the pre. You know, we've got a house. We've got a family, f like friends. We've got good stuff around us. Okay, we've got some money in the bank. I'm fucking calling this shit now, mate. And I'm a motherfucker. I'm down. I'm down. Bro. The planchette literally slid off the board with nobody touching it and landed right on the it picture. It jumped of off Miss the board. White. Mate, that moved in such a weird damn way. In a weird damn way. Bro. What the hell? We took our hands off to him. Oh, God. It went on Mrs. White. It's fucking pointing right at her. I see. Very well. We had a photograph of Mr. and Mrs. White on the table. The planchet. Do it again. Do it again. Move it again. Move it. Move it again. It actually landed on it, pointed straight at Mrs. White. What 
Bro. What the hell? We took our hands off too. Oh god. Yeah. You fucked up. It went on Mrs. White. It's fucking pointing right at her. I see very well. <coughs> It went really right and really wrong at the same time. That's just something that you never want to do. You don't want to break contact when you have communication. It can upset spirits. It can bring more negative energies in if they weren't already in. What the hell? We took our hands off too. When you mess with things like that, you're looking at something that could possibly affect your life or someone that you love oh. six months down the road. That oh. energy is just building and resisting. Like, how could you sleep at night knowing that shit, man? For as long as it can stay that way, and the momentum keeps going until you shut that door. Let's, let's wrap this up. I know it's kind of late, but... Um, Mrs. White, goodbye. I don't think it works like that, but please don't follow us. At this point, we all decided to go outside. We needed to cool down for a minute. What are we doing here? Cause I'm all right with leaving. Yeah, I'm all right with leaving. Comfortable being here. I told you earlier I didn't like the vibe I was getting here. Well, but that's a lot. To me personally, it felt negative. I kept saying that throughout the investigation. I don't like the feeling that I'm getting when I'm here. It doesn't feel positive. It doesn't feel friendly. I don't think we're here to close the door in the face of someone or something that wants to communicate with us. I agree. Right? But does yeah, that feel like something that wants to communicate to you guys? I mean, the, the Ouija board moving, yes, but what about the shit above us but and the know, flying? Are we interpreting this as something like negative? Should we? Do we the do door's open. open. I felt negative the whole time we've been here. Okay. Like, since I walked since through the, the first door. movement. Yeah. You have a chair in that? the door's open, we're just gonna shut it in our face. You're right. I mean, we, we, you're right, but like, can we, can we switch up the testing method then? Because all right. Can we talk about this outside? We went outside for a little bit, and we decided that we were gonna stay the, the entirety of the night, but all of us knew we weren't going to sleep. I went in one room, put a static camera up, <laughs> and I left my clothes on, I left my shoes on. Yeah. I wasn't gonna get comfortable in that bed. <laughs> Laces tied, mate, get ready to run. From the second we got there, all the shit that was happening, I was ready to leave. Yeah. After the Ouija board, me and Cole went up to the room. We knew we were not gonna be sleeping here. The activity was too much, it was too intense. There's no way we're gonna be able to sleep here, so. We were pretty much just waiting for the sun to come up. Watching hour. It's a goat again. It's a Billy goat. I heard a noise downstairs Billy! and it sounded like an animal. You guys hear that? Yeah, yeah, I did. What the fuck was that? It was a goat! Same noise as earlier. That was loud, though. Yeah. It sounded like a fucking goat. Yeah. It did, right? We had a goat on the front porch now. God. It legitimately sounded like there was a goat in the house. And I'm not saying like there was a goat close by. Like you could hear the timbre and the resonance inside the home. It was like being inside an acoustic box with something making a noise. Are they saying it's not a bloody goat? Are they saying that's a, a like a ghost voice of some sort? Because if it is, mate, no effing way. Uh, oh. oh, please be a goat. Please be a goat. He said he saw movement. He freaked the fuck out. He tried to get out of the front door, pulled on the knob, it pulled straight out of the door, and then we all dipped out the back. Oh, fuck. Back door, back door, back door, back door, back door, back door. I was fucking done. Yeah. Something's in that room over there. That is good. What the you didn't see that? Didn't see what? Hey, look. There was something in that room, bro. What? I saw something. I don't know what it was, but something moved across the room. I think I might have got it on camera. I'm not sure, but I saw it with my eyes and I panicked. Oh my God. Here we go, mate. Here we bloody go. If that's, if I see something moving in the shadows and that sound of a goat, 
Motherfucker, I'm gone. I'm gone. Oh my god. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? Something. I don't know what. Past. I don't know why. I, I don't. I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything. I, I'm gonna go back again, and I'm gonna move my camera to see, like, because I don't wanna. I don't wanna. I don't wanna lose anything for you guys as well. I can't. Is is this it up here? Is that it? Something fucking ran past me. I don't know if I got it on camera, but there was something in there. Whoa. Do you have the car keys? I'm over this yeah, shit. Let's get in the car, bro. Well, we gotta get our shit. All these uh, cameras. Static cameras. Fuck. We came up with a quick plan kind of divide and conquer and you know against our better judgment we went back in the house we had to grab the camera so we did it quickly yeah asap like quick 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 mate it was freaky i didn't want to be inside at all so we got in and out as fast as possible we got one downstairs two upstairs you guys you want to go grab one each upstairs yeah, you and i'll grab one, one in our one. room I'll grab let's one make it Casey. quick so we all rushed in to get the static cameras the guys went upstairs i grabbed the one off the front and i heard something move behind me oh I'm leaving my phone. Oh my god, it's a chair again. It was a chair again. Let's We get a lot of complaints about us leaving places early when shit hits the fan. Yeah, you would, mate. Well, I would not bloody Rambo it. But the people that comment and saying, oh, you're leaving too early, mate. You, you, you try it when shit like that's happening. Everyone has their breaking point. We tried to stick this one out. We did, but just for our own sanity, the activity it was too much. We had to get out. So we did ultimately decide to leave early. This is one of those locations that doesn't even need an explanation. You know, at the end of these episodes, we usually say, do we think that it's haunted or not? Uh, there's no need to even get into that. Maybe that stuff's normal to see in the movies. Like if I sat down and watched The Conjuring or The Ritual or something, I'm expecting to see something like that. But when you're just walking through a house, it's beyond horror. This was a very extreme location. This is something that reminds me of a Grandpa Jack's type house. This is something that reminds me of a scratch house. This was a heavy, dark presence. It felt evil the whole time. I would never want to go back there again. The extreme activity we got in the Ouija board for me was the craziest moment. And I do believe that was Mrs. White in that moment trying to communicate with us. We weren't welcome here, but we're here to communicate. So we kept pushing it. I know that it seemed like we were getting communication with the whites. I don't believe that that's who we were really communicating with. I think that there was something else there antagonizing us or tricking us to keep going, but um, we didn't feel welcomed at all, that's for sure. Yeah, we knew man. we had to get out. That was just, it was too much. Too much unknown, too much danger. I mean, say what you will about us, but that was our limit. We found it. Jeez Louise. Keep it moving, you're gonna die. you gonna die. Run it, run it. Yeah. Got to stay alive. Stay alive. Stay alive. Stay alive. Stay alive. Praying only strong survives. Mm. Strong Oh my jeez Louise, that was bloody good, mate. Thank you so much for suggesting that. My goodness gracious me. Mind CTV. You pulled it out of the bag there, dude. That was bloody brilliant, dudes. Anyway, thank you so much. If you like the video, leave a little like, mate. And if you're new to the channel, how about subscribing? And I'll love you forever. Alright? I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.